Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about data input and just optimizing um, data input within Business Central. Um, so this is sort of a continuation from a few of the other videos that we've done before. Um, I'll just pop the link to those videos in the description of, uh, of this one. Um, but in order to, to um, proceed, I'm just going to show you um, what I wanted to show you in uh, in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the search function here to search for the sales orders page. So um, I'm going to be working today on the sales orders, um, but you could do what we're doing today uh, on any application area. OK, so I'm um, just going to open up an existing sales order card here. And what I'm going to do is go into personalized mode here. And I just want to show you some of the different things that we can do here, basically to make our lives easier when we're inputting data um, into Business Central. Um, also reviewing data, right? So um, you might not want to see um, sort of all of the, uh, the data that you have on a particular page. So you might want to hide some of those fields and uh, just going to talk through that to begin with. Um, so in one of the other videos that we've done before, we break down the different types of a page. So I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail on this, but I'm on the general tab here. And within the general tab, we've got a few different fields here. Um, I won't run through them all. Um, but what I want to show you here is if I click on the little red triangle here, um, we've got the show under show more option and the show when collapsed options. So these two we can basically use to show or not show this particular field, the customer name field, um, when we're using the show more or show less. So when we're expanding or collapsing the um, fast tab here. So if I say show more, you can see I've got lots more fields available. If I say show less, I've got a little less there. And the idea is here is these fields that I can see when um, my fast tab is collapsed. If I drop onto here, you'll see here that I get the option to say show under show more. So what does that mean? Well, it basically means the VAT date field here. If I say show under show more, what will happen? Well, let me click that and you'll see the VAT date field has now been removed. But if I click show more, I should be able to see the VAT date field again. Now, if I go into that red triangle again there, see this time it says show always, whereas previously it said show under show more. So if I say show always on that one and I say show less, you'll see the VAT date reappears on there. So it's just to show you that the show under show more and show always functions basically control what fields you see on each fast tab when you've got show more or show less as the option. So when you expand or collapse your fast tab. Now, one of the other things that you can do is you can say show when collapsed. What is this? Well, if I click the general area here, that's going to totally collapse the fast tab, right? So I can collapse it. I can expand it or I can expand it fully. OK, so that's fully expanded. It says show less. That's seeing all of the information that I want to see when I say show more. And if I click the general area itself there, it totally collapses that fast tab. So I see no fields in there now, but I do have a bunch of fields visible here to me. And this is all about what you want to see in that particular fast tab when it's collapsed, right? So if I hover over this, it's telling me it's the document date. This one is the posting date. This one's the order date, due date, and then the status. OK, now what controls this? Well, if I go into a field here, as I mentioned earlier, it's the show when collapsed option. OK, so let me click show when collapsed. So if I now collapse, you'll see the customer name in uh, the uh, collapsed fast tab. OK, so if I come back here, I can say show always there as well. 
and what that will do is it will remove it from the collapsed fast tab there. So see, I've got show when collapsed. If I click that, it brings it up when I collapse my fast tab. If I go into that again, I can say show always, and that is not going to show that value when it's collapsed. Okay, so this is basically about what you want to see on your screen. And bear in mind, you might not input your sales orders or whatever screen you're doing this on, you might not input that data manually. It could be something that you import in, uh, but it's just about what you want to see on your particular screens um, within BC. Now, one of the other things that we can do is um, we can use something called quick entry. Um, and this is usually better on the lines area itself here. So if I come into the lines section and just try to customize this, and I'll just wait for it to catch up with me there. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I wasn't I wasn't getting the uh, the uh, red triangle. So um, here, what I can do is I can say exclude from quick entry, or I can say include in quick entry. Right. So if we just focus on these three fields, so the type field says exclude from quick entry. The number field says exclude from quick entry and the description field says include in quick entry. OK, so what does quick entry mean? Well, it basically means when I press enter on my keyboard and I'm on that particular field, BC will move to the next quick entry field. OK, so to repeat that again, when a field is a quick entry field and I press enter, BC will move to the next quick entry field. So I'm currently on the type field. Let me press enter and we move to the number field. Let me press enter again and see what it did is it skipped over the description field and it's gone to the quantity field, which is the next quick entry field. So that's marked as exclude from quick entry, which basically means it currently is included in quick entry. OK, so just to demonstrate that further, what I'll do is let me say exclude from quick entry here. And what I'm going to do is go back to the type field here. Let me press enter again. It will move to the number field. Let me press enter again and see this time we skipped over the quantity field and we've gone straight to the VAT product posting group field. Now, again, just to demonstrate, if I hit the quantity field there again and say include in quick entry, I'll go back to type, hit enter, we move to the number field, hit enter again, and we move to the quantity field. Okay, so the quick entry is just about optimizing what fields you might need to input when you're inputting a document um, or any line in, uh, in Business Central. And it's basically just about meaning that you, you don't need to move around or use your mouse too much. Um, it's just optimizing the way we would input that data. Um, now, bear in mind, this doesn't work when we use tab, you know, so I can use tab um, to move across fields. The quick entry only works when we press enter on a field. Um, so tab will go to the next field regardless of the setup there. Um, so that's everything I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.